Hey there, everybody out there in Trainerize Made Simple Land. Coach Rob here. <clears throat> Welcome to this hopefully quick video. There's been a lot of questions. Well, actually, Trainerize has been really great with several releases. There's the Trainerize Nutrition Beta. That's brand new, fresh out. That's what this video is going to be walking through real quickly. Just really basic stuff about it. And then hopefully that sets you up to be able to play with it and dig in and see what works for you. There also recently was released session packs and paid appointments. If that's something you'd like to see a video in, please comment down below and I'll make some time this week to get this out as well. And then there's also the program stacking that's currently in the expanded beta one release, which is really cool and I've been doing that as well. So a lot of cool stuff going on, but like I said, this is just nutrition and I kind of want to show you how to make sure you can set yourself up for success. And you can think of this maybe as trainerize nutrition made simple. <laughs> All right, first off, the first thing you have to do is make your account available for it. That's gonna be going on the web, going down to your add-ons section, and then from add-ons, clicking your integrations. And then in integrations, under where it says beta labs, you need to click right here if it says enable. If it says disable, you've already turned it on and you're good to go. Now, one thing I've seen is several people have made comments about they've enabled it and they're still not getting it in their mobile. You do have to have a certain mobile version app, which I think is 7.10. It's listed somewhere in this forum back if you search for the videos I've posted, somewhere in there I gave what uh, version it has to be. But also there's a lot of times your computer just gets conflicted and commingled with data. And I know there's a lot of people out there, you guys are all really great in what you do for nutrition, exercise, mindset, things like that, but not many people are technical in the aspect of doing the maintenance on your technology. And one of the things you have to do is make sure that your computer has recovered from all the stuff you do, much like in exercise and all those other things we do. We always have to focus on recovery to get better. Your computer has to recover, otherwise it builds up and lack of a better term, it gets confused. That's going to be clearing your browser cache, shutting down your computer and bringing it back up. It could be simply refreshing your screen, but these are tactics and things that you need to plan on doing regularly in order to kind of freshen up and clear it out. It's like meditation for your computer. But once this is on, you're on for both meal photos and the in-app tracker. So from there, almost everything else is on the mobile app. Now for the mobile app, your client's app has to be version 7.12. The current standard Trainerize app is 1.2. Custom apps are rolling out. It's the Apple Store and the Google Store do this thing called phased releases. I tell my business coaching clients, you can expect a window of up to about two weeks after an upgrade is released for things to roll out and get to you. I, my last name is Johnson. I swear I think it's going by alphabetical order because my app is usually one of the last ones that gets updated, it feels like. But... Two weeks is about the amount of time it takes to make sure everything's out. If you haven't seen it in that amount of time frame, either post in my group or follow up directly with Trainerize to find out where yours is and if it's been updated. And Because sometimes things hang up and it, it just happens. But when a client logs using the new Trainerize Nutrition app, which I've done for a couple of days now, this is what you get to see. So here's... And I just... I just like scan things and did different things, but these are different options between me scanning barcode and selecting something from the database. So, you know, you can see right here, I did some bubble bee chunk tuna. I did a peanut butter caramel bar payday by Hershey's. Um, and I set those up as a meal and you know, you can hide details or show details. And then over here, what's really cool is we're getting a lot more detail as far as are the nutrients. If, I mean, I, I love this stuff. If you do too, that's pretty exciting. And then you can still have the comments and things. 
But from your client's perspective, this is what you're looking at. So my client, I use my custom branded app as a coach. I also stay logged in into the standard Trainerize app as a client in my own account, which is what we're slowly pulling up right now. This is my fitness um, tab. Pregnant pause, drum roll, please. There we go. All right, so the standard Trainerize app right here. If I can get my mouse to settle down. Open that up. Uh, it was going a lot quicker a few minutes ago when I did this. All right, what do we got going on here? There we go. So inside here, first thing you want to do, if you're ever coaching your clients, they go down to these three little dots, which is called the ellipses. But if you click on the ellipses, scroll all the way down, right there is where your trainerized version is, 7.12, because their standard app is the first thing that goes out. And then to switch your clients into making sure they're doing this way, either you can do it on the web or they do it on the um, app. So on the app, they click meal tracker. It's in this app, full meal tracking. It automatically saves and you're out. If you're doing it for your clients, then what you're going to do is, you know, there's a client you want to go to. You go to their profile. You got to click on edit, scroll down, right down here, the bottom item is meal flow. It's where you can check whatever you want. If they're not already on it, you select an app. This client was on meal photos. If I slick right here, now she's on meal tracking. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to save it. The system was kind and didn't bump me out, saved. Okay, I did it for her there. This is how you do it in the app. So going back to my basic page. So now let's say I wanna log, I don't know, it's 1.30. Let's say I just ate lunch. I wanna click on to add a meal. I go to add a meal. It allows me to take a photo and I've got a couple of items I just went and grabbed right out of the fridge. Hopefully one of them's not in the database so we can see, but if you want to do a photo of what your meal looks like you do, otherwise you just skip the photo. And then if I want to search, I type things in here and I search. You know, you can go look for an egg and it pulls a bunch of eggs. But I'm really loving the barcode scanner. So barcode scanner right there. Japanese fried rice. So... Uh, you can see I'm not hovering it real tightly, so I'll click next. So we added that, and then I want to add another food. So then I'm going to do this, which is right there, vegan cheddar style cheese, because we are plant-based. And then hit next. And then I'm going to add one more food, because... Well, it doesn't make sense to be doing it with the rice, but I love sandwiches. So we have some Dave's Killer Bread. And there you go. Let's pretend that was my lunch. It automatically picks your meal based on the time of day. You can definitely change it if you want. But what's cool is it defaults into kind of standard timing, which is cool. So save that meal. And that's all there like that. And then if we go, I don't want to do that. Go back into mine, pick the calendar. Yeah. All right, so we're not gonna go pick mine. Anyway, so what we have is those are the meals that are picked um, and it, it logs it in that way and you just you keep going through you can go pull up historical pictures of things so it's play with it that way 
if your client does not have version 7.12, they're not going to be able to do foods. You can play with recents. You can store favorites. And the way you can do that is, um, do I have my, so like right here, green stuffed olives. This is like candy to me. I love this stuff. I eat it all the time. So I'm going to heart it right there. And now what's going to do is it shows up as a favorite. So that way you can pick, quickly pick stuff that you want. Hop in, activate it for your account. If you have a custom branded app, it's not going to be updated yet, I don't believe. I think that's just starting to roll out. But what you can do, if you want, you can remove that, download the standard app. If you're Android, you can have both apps resident on your um, mobile system. If you're Apple, you cannot. So if you want to play with it, either get a different uh, mobile unit or uh, tablet, or just delete your custom branded app, all your data is safe online, download the standard app, log in as a client, because as a coach, you can't do it, log in as you as a client, and then you'll be able to play with it that way. So it's a little bit of iteration, it just depends on how much you want to play with things and do it. But that's the real short nitty gritty making it simple on Trainerize Nutrition. I hope you find this beneficial. If you have any questions, post them down below and we'll see if we can answer them quickly and stuff like that. If you want to dive into other things really deeply, we can set up a concierge coaching where it's just you and me going through your stuff. All right. So thanks, guys. Have a great day and we will talk to you online.